Hi, it's Marianne of MW's Designs. I'm going to be using my leaf paintings from my last video to make cards today, and I will link that video below. These are a couple of cards that are already completed so that you can have an idea of what we're going for. So I will set those aside, and um, this is my recollections card base that I'm going to be using. It's six and a half inches by five inches, but you can use whatever size and kind of card base that you want. I've already pre-cut one of my bases, and this is cut to the exact size of my card base. And I will glue it, or if you wanted to, you could um, use double-sided tape, um, whatever works for you. I'm just going to be using um, my stick glue. And then I'm going to have a second layer. And this one is six inches by four and a half inches, so that leaves about a quarter of an inch of border. And I have been choosing colors that I think go well with fall and the color of the leaves. Um, then I have my painting, which I haven't cut down yet, but I want to cut it down to five and a half inches by four inches, so it'll leave another quarter inch border. So let's just set that aside and all I do to um, cut out my my painting is just measure um, okay four inches and I just kind of estimate here so I want to leave kind of the same amount on each side so let's put that about there and there's my four inches. So I'm just going to draw that here. And then I want to have five and a half inches in the other direction. So let's put that about, okay, I might have to move that over, but we'll see. Okay. So get this at the bottom of the, or well, at the top of that line, and measure five and a half. Okay, I'm going to have to change some of these, but that's where I want that line. And let's do the other five and a half. Okay, and then we'll do the four inch line about there. And okay, that's actually pretty good. Now I'm going to use my little paper cutter just to cut this. I like having my little paper cutter because then I don't have to drag out the big one for this job. And we just get everything lined up as well as I can. And chop off each of these sides. Trying to get it straight. This is quite an old paper cutter. I think it's from Creative Memories. So that's a long time ago. But it still works really well. Okay, so there I have my painting cut to the right size. So it'll fit in there kind of like that. And now I'm going to put my sentiment on the card and as you can see I used happy fall and a border around the edge so 
I do this um, just kind of freehand and I do it with pencil first and if I don't like it I can erase the pencil okay so about there and it's sometimes a good idea to do no nope, I want to leave a bigger space in there it's a good idea to do a a practice run, but I'm just not taking the time to do that. Okay, about like that. And if you need to, what you can do is have just a piece of copy paper and write your sentiment on there. And then if you have some graphite paper, you can trace around it. Oh, I keep wanting to make my spaces small. And I want to fix that F too. So it is a good idea to do it in pencil first. Some people who are really good at this can do it right in there with their pens first but I'm not quite there yet. Okay, and then I want that line to go to the edge. And now I'm going to pull a line down from the top. Maybe do this one. And then join these two up. A little bit wobbly and it's okay if it's a little bit wobbly so there I have it and I'm going to be using my 05 micron pen and this one is purple but you can use whatever color you like I just kind of like the contrast of um, the purple against the blue. So I try and trace over as carefully as I can. You just do your best. It it does get easier the more you practice it. I have gotten better over the the time I've spent working on these. And if you didn't want to actually do it with your own handwriting, of course, there's always the option of using stamps or rub-ons or whatever you think would work and that you like to use. And if I'm not right on the pencil line, I think it's okay because I will erase the pencil marks afterwards. And then I just come and pull down as carefully as I can. And if I have to lift my pen off, that's okay. I can join it up fairly easily. I really do like these Micron pens. They are so great for lettering and drawing. And just about there. Actually, you probably wouldn't even have to do the pencil around the edge if you can just do it by eye like that. Okay, so I want to make sure this is dry before I do any racing. So I'm just going to set it aside for a minute and I'm going to glue these on. And as I said, I'm just going to use my stick glue because I am running out of my double-sided tape and I actually had to buy some at the dollar store and it's not quite as good as some of the other double stick tapes that I like to use. And for, for light paper like this, it works well to use glue 
Okay, and I line it up as close as I can. I sometimes find that the recollection card bases aren't exactly square, and if I don't get it quite pushed up where I want it, I can, I have a minute or two to lift it up and redo it. That's not bad. And if, if you do have any overhang, go on the back and just trim it. I think I have just a little bit here, so I would probably use a pair of scissors and just trim that. Now I'm going to put the red on. And I'm going to try and get that quarter inch all the way around as close as I can. Yep. That's not bad. Okay, I'm not quite happy with that. Okay, and then press it down. And now I am going to erase those pencil lines because I think it will be dry. So if you have any pencil lines that are showing that you don't want showing, just use whatever eraser. I think I like these vinyl erasers. They work pretty well for me. Okay. And I am going to use double-sided tape for the back of this. Just try it out here. Oh yeah, that's good. Because the watercolor paper that I painted on it, painted on is 140 pound, and that's a little too heavy for the stick glue. It will work, but um, it may come off. Okay, here's my little scissors, and. That's one of the things I don't like about this tape from the dollar store, is you can't tear it. So it's a little bit more of a tedious process to put it on. You have to cut it with scissors. where you don't want it to. Okay, that's all right. It's on the back. And one more here. Two more here for the outside. And you could do one in the middle, but I'm just going to leave it on the outside edges so I don't take all day on this video. Okay, and now if I can get the backing off, I should be able to attach it to my cart. So press it down quite well. And then get the end of it. Some people will use a little pokey tool. I find I can use my fingernails and it works reasonably well. Okay, and then I'm going to attach this on top of my card. And again, trying to get the spacing fairly even. Okay, that's as close as it's going to get. And if it's not exactly perfect, I'm not too fussy about it. Okay, and there is the finished card. If you like this video, I hope you will give me a thumbs up and maybe leave a comment below. And if you're not subscribed and would like to subscribe to my channel, just hit the button below and the bell beside it so that hopefully you'll be notified about my next video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.